I'm such a horrible um, breakfast person, so usually I just end up having chocolate or something. Please don't follow my example. It's not good for you. Not good for your health. Not good for anything except your um, taste buds. <laughs> And Icelanders, they put black licorice in literally anything, which is good for me because I love, love black licorice. Um, even in chocolate, so yeah, love it. Can you believe how lucky I am with the weather? Because I can't. I hope I didn't jinx it now. Ah, another beautiful day coming up. Okay, so plan for today is just to continue um, along the shore of the West Fjords. Um, yeah, that's actually it. Uh, there's one road that I'm not sure act, uh, yet if I'm gonna take or not. It uh, could be a little bit dangerous, perhaps alone. I don't know. We'll see how big my balls are when I get there. I will for sure take one uh, mountain road, I think it's gravel, and then the other one we'll just have to see, I think. Might as well just connect right away because it's quite chill this morning. <sighs> Alright, let's get this day started. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Then we go up here. Oh, some loose parts. Ooh. No problemo. Alright, I also need to find some coffee and a proper breakfast eventually. Um, I'll stop and fill some top off my tank um, in about 50 minutes, I think. Oh, this country, guys. I can't. It's too much. It's too beautiful. I'm definitely coming back here. 100%. Definitely coming back. <sighs> All right, roll music. You know, if you jinx something, how fast does it work? <laughs> Bye, son. It was nice to see you. Better with the ocean view and a gravel road setback. There was a sign earlier saying that this is a dead end. I'm curious how how dead is the end. <laughs> how far can we go? It's probably because there's a lot of um, stones coming down here. Maybe. I don't know. This is a beautiful road. Yeah, that's how dead it is. It's very dead. It's a very dead dead end. I guess you can go on the side there, but it's, that's not for me. That is not for me. I'm sure Ichi, Ichi Boots would have done it. Oh, but not me. Come on, Loki. Okay, move. Why are you so heavy? alone then I'm probably I would try that road over there because it continues over there but no
this is definitely the most narrow tunnel I've ridden in. There's only room for one car at a time, so yeah, there we go. There's all these little pits you can pull over when there's cars coming towards you. Because you can't fit two cars besides. Biker, how about that, hey? This is Peter. He's from uh, he's from Denmark. Apparently, we came on the same ferry um, just uh, a week ago. I can't remember seeing him. He can't remember seeing me. Um, but yeah.
were heading in the same direction so we checked out this waterfall together um, we're driving pretty much in the same direction now as well but yeah we'll see where we part our ways he's one of the first bikers I actually meet out here which is kind of strange because we were 14 or 15 bikers on a ferry I think coming here and this is the first time I meet meet one of them uh, on the road so just figure you know how many how many ways could we have taken <laughs> but that's uh, yeah that's cool he's been uh, up to some proper adventures himself getting himself stuck in some mud and this and that so yeah just properly um, exploring Iceland which is which is awesome Try to avoid those piles of sand, shall we? Oh, the asphalt actually begins here again. How about that? Maybe they're putting down asphalt for the whole stretch eventually. Oh, no, it's not asphalt, it is. 100% loose gravel. Cool, cool. Not my favorite, but okay. We'll just take it nice and slow here. It's good practice. It's like really small, uh, small stone to gravel, if that makes sense. it is that time of the day again um, first of all I'm sorry I filmed so little at the end um, my GoPro is acting up a little bit um, first of all saying that my SD cards are full when they're not uh, then it's suddenly just draining the battery for no reason so I just I've been fighting a little bit with um, yeah with my GoPro uh, but I think I figured it out anyway I hope it's behaving better tomorrow um, I have right at the camping right now. It's actually uh, officially closed. Yesterday was the last night, um, she said, but there's still <laughs> a lot of people here. Well, not a lot, maybe like five or six different um, campers, like vans and tents and stuff. You got a discount on the price, um, although like the bathroom area is not clean very well and there's no like, electricity, but that's fine because this is the only camp in like quite a bit of a distance. I arrived here about seven o'clock in the evening um, yeah, I have my dinner and stuff. It's now nine o'clock in the evening. All right, let's take a look at where I actually rode today. So, as you can see, this is where I spent the li night last night. Um, tonight I rode this way. Uh, this is the road with all the fog uh, and also where I met Peter. Then I went here. This is where the waterfall, beautiful waterfall was. I'm pretty much just going in and out of all these fjords over here uh, and then starting to make my way down here and that's this is where I am right now so I ended up covering a good stretch today as well not as much as yesterday but a good stretch um, I ended up not going this way because I have now two days to get back to Reykjavik down here and I, I would rather want to do 
uh, this area actually, which I'll, I'll do tomorrow. I probably will go here and then maybe camp uh, in this area or a little bit further down is the plan. So yeah, should be great. Uh, quite chilly now as well, maybe like seven, seven, eight degrees or something. It's not too bad. I know I'll sleep really well. It's just um, getting out in and out of the bag is <laughs> so cold. <laughs> so cold. Alright, anyway, um, thank you for watching this episode and uh, hope I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.